Okay, so we're talking today with Mark Steinberg, who is the founder of Creative Consciousness and Master Teacher. And we've been talking a lot about the theme of stress and burnout. And as most people who are in any kind of spiritual following or uh, even people who are into science, we're hearing more and more that everything is energy, that we are energy and we are connected to everything. So what does energy have to do with our happiness? Yeah, hi everyone. This is a very important question because so many people, if not all people on this planet are trying predominantly to become happy. So all our attempts, the choices we make, the way we live is all in the, in the context of becoming happy. It's a human deep desire to have happiness, to be powerful, to be creative, and to experience meaning in life. So that's what it's all about. Now, in the attempt of happiness, um, it shouldn't be so difficult. <laughs> but when we take a look at the world and the condition people are in, it's horrific. I mean, if you are a little bit of aware of the pharmaceutical statistics with regard to what uh, um, psychoactive medicines um, are being used, um, it's called the Prozac Nation. Uh, <laughs> it's all over the world. So happiness doesn't seem to be a easy thing to establish in one's life. And there are basically two kinds of happiness. One is conditional, the other one is unconditional. So conditional happiness is what most people try to establish. In other words, you desire something, you associate getting something with becoming happy, and it's conditional. So once I have my house, once I have the right partner, once I um, am healed in my body, once I'm doing this or getting this, then I'm going to be happy. It looks like this for the mind, of course. But is it really so? Yes, temporarily you may experience happiness after you have gotten something that you wanted. But then after a while you experience that the happiness is gone again. You became familiar with what you didn't have before and now you had and now you became familiar and now you're back to the normal state of being you, which is in essence, from the starting point, not happy. So you go for the next thing and you do that until you run out of options or you get exhausted or you end up in burnout because you get desperate. Nothing ever what you thought that makes you happy is going to leave you happy. And that's very stressful. So here we have the first link. Now, the second kind of happiness is unconditional. So it doesn't have conditions. That means there's a paradigm saying that our nature, our inner nature, is essentially happy. So that means the way I was brought up, the conditioning I received, the beliefs I adopted, the way I am part of a system in society that is set up in a particular way that obviously doesn't leave people happy, all of that contributes to having taken away my intrinsic natural happiness. And here we now need to come and consider energy. Everything is energy is a physical fact established now and confirmed by science. So if everything is energy, then everything I am associated with everything I am in the presence of, everything I am connected to, has an impact on my electromagnetic energy field. So I'm consisting of 70 trillion cells. And cells are made up of molecules and atoms and so on and so forth. And all in the bottom, in the essence, is energy. That means when I'm with particular people who have a particular energy, it is impacting me because I'm energy and there is no disconnect. So we are all connected to everything. The room I'm sitting in, the city I'm living in, the air I breathe, the food I put into my body, the thoughts I am running in my mind. Everything is energy and everything has an impact. So that's a lot to consider. And it can be broken down into easy steps that you can improve the quality of your electromagnetic field, of your body, of your mind. And you need to consider there are four bodies you are consisting of. First body is physical, then mental, then emotional, and then spiritual. Those four bodies are all, again, energy.
Now in the physical body, there's a lot of material what you can educate yourself about and what you can learn about when it comes to what you put into your body as food, as the quality of water, the quality of sleep, what you, uh, what you need to get and so on and so forth. So the physical condition of the body is having a big impact on our energy field. And when the physical body is happy, you already have a great foundation. But there are many people who are physically fit and healthy who are not happy because it's not the only body we are consisting of. There is now the mental body and then the emotional and spiritual. So the mental body is the mind. It is the thoughts and beliefs that are running in the subconscious and in the conscious mind. So when you think negatively, when you blame people, when you judge, when you have, when you have a bad attitude, even if you write, then it pollutes your mental body and the energy field of your mental body is on a lower frequency. I'm coming to frequencies in a moment to explain that. So a negative mind is polluting the magnetic field of the mind and therefore that's an energy body one of the four and therefore it takes our happiness away the moment you are thinking better thoughts more quality thoughts the moment you are through therapy meditation transformation discharging eliminating negative old belief patterns that you picked up from childhood that lived in the subconscious so you were not conscious of it the moment you are cleaning your house, so to speak, it becomes so much better. But then still, you have a physical well-being, you have a mental well-being. If your emotional body is not happy, you're not going to experience happiness either. The emotional body is the body that carries every trauma we have experienced as a reaction to something that happened to us from early childhood on. It even starts with a birth experience, what most people are not conscious of. In our retreats, we go there so that the birth trauma can be released. And then it's a full yes to life. Most people only have a 40, 50% yes to life because the birth trauma never got revisited and released. And there are more things that need to be addressed in childhood, what happened to us and what happened to people. So all of that is in the emotional body. We do trauma release yoga. We are going into, uh, within a safe space, into all those um, traumatic situations that we as a child were not able to sufficiently integrate and deal with. We didn't have the awareness as we have as adults today. So it's still stuck in our cellular memory. And from there, it produces an energy field that doesn't allow for happiness because happiness requires a coherence in all the four bodies. That means a perfect balance. Like the body can only run on 13 vitamins. It needs certain vitamins. If you just try and think you can leave one away, you can do it with 12, you're not going to last long. So all the parameters need to be in place for us to experience unconditional happiness. A happiness, we don't have to do anything for it. And the happiness that doesn't require to have conditions in place. You're just happy. That's possible. Number four is the spiritual body. The spiritual body includes our soul, our higher self. That connection to the greater vibration, the connection, what can be called God, the universe, life force, the whole and the spiritual body is in charge for our greater well-being that goes beyond the existence of the body determined by birth and death. As spiritual beings in the human incarnation, we experience our spiritual being being a human being, and that's for a good purpose. That goes a little bit beyond today's theme. But the spiritual body responds to what we invest into our spirituality. Now, spirituality is something that we are anyway, but most people are too busy to giving it the attention that it requires. When we talk about meditation, when we talk about spiritual practices that suit everybody's energy, there are so many out there, and everybody can find what is resonating with them, what is fun, 
we don't need to torture ourselves to be spiritually in action. There's so many out there, so much out there that people can find for themselves. So if I invest in my spiritual body, if I clean out my emotional traumas, if I am making it a habit to think better, if I am taking care with regard to what I put in and exercising my physical body, well, then our energy is rising. And the higher our energy is rising in frequency, the more happy we are. So energy frequency means Energy is something that moves. Yeah? Energy never has a standstill. If it doesn't move up, it moves down. If it doesn't move left, it moves right, just to make it very simple. So it's always moving on every level. Planets are moving, molecules are moving, everything is moving. If it moves, it vibrates. When it vibrates, it has a frequency. And the amplitudes are what can be measured. So high vibration is like this, low vibration is like that. At the moment, there's no judgment around it, but when you go into analysis with regard to human beings' electromagnetic energy field, then we see that happiness is directly related to high-frequency energy. The opposite is also true. Unhappiness is related to low-frequency energy. Our whole journey is about learning all the aspects in order to raise our energy frequency to higher levels. And then life really becomes fun because the headwind we experience on the lower frequency energy levels, that means bad uh, um, coincidences are happening, uh, breakdowns, um, we knock our body, we hurt ourselves, uh, we get stuck. You know, that whole drama in life, which may, for so many people is a daily life experience, which is so exhausting to deal with. So when that, that's happening on the low frequency level, on the high frequency level, we experience flow, we meet the right people at the right uh, time, unexpected support is happening, we are having energy unlimited, we have crystal clarity, we have creativity, and it seems like life is smiling at us and helping us to create and to live a beautiful life. So that's why it's very important that we learn about that whole thing. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, what you're saying makes total sense. 